Can you hear okay in the back? Yes? Okay, may I have your attention? Hi, my name is Shauna Maziars. I am Circle Board Co-President, along with... <laughs> I'm Deborah Weistar, and I am Circle Co-President of the Board with Shauna. Circle has truly an incredible board of directors. And I'd like to not just acknowledge them right now, but also ask them to stand up so you can see who we are, and partly for this evening, so that if you have questions later in the evening and you'd like to um, approach one of us, you know who to talk to. They're and, all standing. Maybe they can raise their hands. Oh, are they all standing? Well, there's can, Joe and I. Can, you, can the Circle board members raise your hands so that everyone can see? We have Joe and Isaac. Oh, that's John. John. It was the lighting guys. Okay, great. If you checked in when you came in, you saw also you saw uh, Jeff and George and Peter. And Louise right here. And Louise is right here. There's almost all of us actually. There's a, there's a, a good showing. So please um, come talk to us. The circle board is made up of volunteers and. Um, Circle, as you all know, because you are here, is a very much a volunteer-supported organization. Um, you all are here because you care deeply about the Yuba. You're here because you care deeply about Circle's work. So we just want to start by saying thank you so much for being here, for taking some time out of your life to get caught up on what we're doing. I think you're gonna be very happy you came because what we're doing is incredible. And you know, Circle has gone in the past 35 years from being a scrappy little nonprofit that was formed to save the Yuba River from more large dams to being one of the most formidable environmental nonprofits in the Sierra Nevada. That said, we are still scrappy and we are still grassroots. And, and that, that's how we wanted to stay. You know, we are very much fed and nourished, and I guess that's redundant. We're very much nourished and driven by you all, by us as a community coming to events like this, caring about this organization, becoming members, um, showing up for public meetings. You know, the fact that we are a membership-based organization is not lost on the decision makers. And um, so I just wanna start by saying thank you for caring so deeply about the Yuba and about our work. It's what makes this place so amazing to live in, is that we have such an engaged group of citizens that, that understand that you cannot just let the world unfold. You have to actively choose the world we want to create. Um, and the Yuba is very much better for Circle's work over these last decades. Um, so we have a really, really exciting night tonight. We're gonna hear about our five-year strategic plan, which really is just a piece of a much larger vision we have over the next many decades of addressing um, some of the really, really formidable challenges we're gonna have in our watershed, in all watersheds. Um, so I'm really excited to hear what, what we're gonna hear from Melinda tonight about that. Um, we have a really exciting panel discussion about hearing back on the formation of Circle and the wild and scenic designation for the South Yuba River. Um, we're gonna hear some great stories about, um, about those amazing times. So anyway, thank you so much for coming. We're really excited to have you and um, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Let me just, uh, sorry, I just wanna add one more thing. I think we do, I wanted to also say, kind of going back to um, what I was mentioning earlier about how, how important Circle's work is, I think there are some, some decision makers in the room, some electeds in the room, um, and so I just wanna thank you all in particular for coming. I think I saw Brent Hasty show up from Yuba Water Agency, maybe. Um, wonderful, thank you so much for being here. Brent is the president of the board of Yuba Water Agency. We have some pretty exciting collaborations going on with them. Um, and I think you'll probably hear a little bit about that tonight. Um, I know that Nevada City City Council is actually having their meeting tonight, so I think, unfortunately, city council members were not able to be here. I heard that maybe Heidi was coming. Is Heidi already out there? No. Any other electeds that I haven't seen? Sorry, I came a little late. So if you are, if you are an elected official and a decision maker, thank you for being here. Thank you for understanding that you have to think about the Yuba and the decisions that you're making. <laughs> thank you, Shauna. 
I just wanted to say one, i tell you about one quick little story. Um, in my rest of my life, I'm co-director of an outdoor education youth organization. And one of the things that we do is take uh, particularly middle school, eighth grade students off on adventures, off in their canoeing adventures. They're you know, local here in our, in our watershed and a little farther away. And recently I received an email from a young woman who's now a senior in high school who four years ago had been on one of our adventures, one of our trips. And she said, well, I, I remembered so much about my eighth grade trip and now I have this service block as a senior in high school and I want to come back to your organization and, and give service in the month of May, this May. And, and she said, oh, and my eighth grade trip was so incredible and I had such a great time and it was on the beautiful Yuba River. We don't lead trips on the Yuba. So I was thinking, what's she thinking of? What's she thinking of? You know, we lead trips on the Eel River, big river up north. What's she thinking of? And so I looked her up and I hadn't been on this particular trip, so I looked her up in our records. And she had actually, we had actually been on Lake Engelbright, which is where we often, we take a lot of trips. We work, we were in uh, communication with the Army Corps of Engineers there, and we do a lot of trips on Engelbright, canoe trips, for, you know, six, seven nights. And so, but there was something about that that just really struck me, that this young woman, her memory is that it was the Uber River, because in fact, it is. And I'm sure we mentioned something like that. I know we must have, our staff must have taken that class up the, to the confluence, um, up to the, the north and the, and the south forks, where it's just at the very top of that, of that and, um, what do you call that? Not reservoir, impoundment. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, but that, uh, that just brought me right into, okay, this is what this is really about. This is so much about, I could say, uh, uh, Sean and I could stand up here all night and say all kinds of things about how incredible Circle is and the work that, that we do, but um, that just was this essence that I wanted to share with you, that somehow this young person who's from Napa, she's not even from around here, um, really, that was her memory, is that it was the Yuba River, it was the beautiful Yuba River, and that was what she carried with her and wanted to come, enough to want to come back four years later. So we are now going to turn the program over to Carl Ronning. He is Circle's hydrologist, and he's next. All right. So I have the honor tonight to talk about um, Circle's Volunteer of the Year Award. Um, but I want to start by giving out um, a huge round of applause for the thousands of volunteers um, that have helped Circle over the past 36 years. I definitely could not or would not have this amazing job um, if it wasn't for you. Um, so after the last five years, um, when he wasn't working for the U.S. Air Force or taking care of his children, Nathan Oxy volunteered with Circle's River Monitoring Program. When Nathan joined the program in 2014, we were delighted to learn that he has a background in chemistry. He brought his knowledge with him, adding capacity to Circle's Citizen Science Water Quality Monitoring Program. Nathan monitored water quality at Simpson Lane Bridge in the Lower Yuba and Highway 49 Bridge over the South Yuba River, usually with his small children in tow. Nearly every month, Nathan would offer to take on extra sites, more than the two sites that he was assigned to. Um, multiple times, he took on over five additional sites, um, which was pretty incredible. Um, he would just walk in the office, and he's like, who didn't show up today? And I'd be like, all those people. <laughs> um, so he'd just go up, pick up a bag, he'd take as many as we'd let him, <laughs> and he would go back out there with his kids. Um, he's got a heart of gold and uh, clearly could, could not say no to Circle. Since 2014, Nathan contributed over 300 hours to Circle, and while he recently moved on um, from this region in service of our country, we wanted to make sure we recognized him for his service to the Uber River and keeping our Uber River clean and safe. Um, today, I want to share some words uh, that Nathan just emailed me this morning. Um, 
unfortunately, he could not, could not be here. Uh, thank you all, and greetings from the other side of the country. I now stand in the Potomac watershed, but I will not forget the beauty of the Yuba watershed or the passion of all of you who work to protect and restore it. It has been a pleasure working with many of you over the years. Through my time volunteering with Circle, I met many people who brought their diverse backgrounds and skills, including the staff who work tirelessly and greet you with a smile. The volunteers who take time to monitor the river or greet the countless guests who visit. And all other volunteers who work to restore native species to the watershed. My family and I had days of fun trampling all around the watershed from the main stream to the small tributaries in the Sierra. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who welcomed and introduced us to the Yuba River, from climbing hillsides pulling out scotch broom, to collecting water quality samples, to sitting in the office talking to other volunteers. It has been an honor working with you all. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Hutchinson, I'm Circle Science Director, and tonight I have the honor of awarding our Partner of the Year Award. This year we are giving the award to the Truckee Donner Land Trust. They work primarily in the Truckee and Tahoe region um, and work on protecting land. They buy land, they protect it, and you know, what does it have to do with the Yuba River? Well, in 2012, they work together with a lot of other nonprofits and other organizations and a lot of private donors and state um, officials to purchase uh, the Summit Valley and the Royal Gorge property. This protected most of the headwaters of the South Yuba River permanently. It's a really big deal um, for Circle um, and for everyone who lives in the Yuba River watershed. They subsequently have turned over the majority of that land that they were able to purchase to the Tahoe National Forest. Um, so now it is protected in perpetuity, um, forever and ever, right? Yeah, it's really great. Um, over the next year, um, something that the Trigonal Land Trust uh, purchased this property, um, when they did so, they, they knew that they were also buying a dam at the base of Van Norden Meadow. Um, they didn't really know much about it and thought it wouldn't be that big of a deal, I'm guessing. Um, it turned out that it was a big deal. Um, and this year, as long as everything goes well, the plan is to lower that dam by five feet, which will remove that impediment to sort of a more natural flowing river in our headwaters. So that's also really great. <laughs> uh, and that's why we thought it would be very timely to award the Land Trust with this award this year. They've been working really hard on this for several years. I've been going to public meetings with them since I think 2014 or 2015, um, and I, I'm very proud of their perseverance and their total commitment to, to getting this project done, to lowering this dam, um, that we're, and the South Yuba River runs right through it. So I want to welcome to the stage John Spawn, who's the, are you the co-director or the associate director? the Associate Director of the Truckee Donner Land Trust, um, to accept this award. That's awesome. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, the Truckee Donner Land Trust is uh, honored to receive this award, and we're really excited to uh, get to work with Circle on the restoration of the Headwater Meadow. Um, I became a Circle fan Myself, um, a long time ago, uh, I've been a fisherman all my life, and I like to fish in the Yuba. Um, and uh, I fished a lot below Anglebright and took an interest in the, uh, in particular, the salmon and steelhead populations there. And um, I kind of started looking around for who's, who's leading the charge to uh, um, make sure that that fishery is at least maintained and definitely improved. Um, and I found you all, and I became a fan, um, and I started to call you and annoy you with random questions about the fishery. Um, and somebody always answered and was very helpful. Um, <clears throat> so fast forward, at, you know, more than a decade, and uh, I'm excited to be working with you all up in Van Norden. And uh, it's a magical spot, and it's going to be even better once you guys work, do your work on it. Thank you. Thank you. 